Okay, all right, okay, all right. Yeah, I have the camera turned vertical because I'm a fucking rebel, and I don't care about the black bars going along the side of the screen. If it bothers you, I don't want to be your friend anyway. <laughs> okay. So I've only gotten to my Navy Boot Camp 8 video and found some questions that needed answered. So, Courtney asked, are they sexist? Hmm. I don't really know how to answer that because when you get into the fleet, it is a little bit different. And I'm sure that depending on who you run into, they might be sexist. Um, a Marine instructor, he's a sergeant in the Marine Corps, told us that in because um, we're just about to graduate ATT, which is the electronics class, right before I go into my specific strand or whatever. And a female Marine asked the same kind of question. And he goes, to be honest, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to offend you or anything, but when a female comes to work in my shop, the first thing that all the guys think is, I wonder how many guys she's fucked. Because she's either a slut or a Marine. They don't associate the two. Like, in the Navy, you will either be, or, or in, in any military branch, you will either be a, a joke, like a slut, you will fuck everyone, or you will be a sailor, or you will be a marine, or you will be a soldier. You know, it depends on how you carry yourself. But that's one of the first things my sergeant said goes through his head. Is they want to know if you're easy and if you can get it. And um, he said if you're a pretty person, if you're a pretty girl, and you earn your way fully and you've never, like, done anything like, used your looks to get what you want, chances are you will still be accused of using your looks to get what you want. So, sometimes in certain situations, depending on your rate especially, like, if you have a man's rate, you know, if you're a mechanic and you get it, you run into some asshole, he's probably going to be like, oh my gosh, this chick can't do anything. And if you can't do anything, then you'll fit the stigma and they'll keep on thinking girls can't do anything. But if you can actually hold your own and you know how to yield a fucking tool, then then they'll, they'll, their attitude about you will change. So, just like anywhere in the world, there's sexist civilians. Like, I've worked with sexist people in jobs I've had before. Yes and no, they're sexist and they are not. Some look at you like you're a burden because you're a female. Some look at you like you're a slut. Some look at you like you're a sailor. You know, just, it depends on how you act and really their initial reaction is probably going to be hesitant and it's only fair because a lot of females even seeing it around here and I'm not even in the fleet yet I'm in A school fuck that up because they are whoring around boy so Marshall this guy I think he's a guy I don't know if he's a guy or girl asked about bathroom breaks and I laughed and I was like there's plenty of time to take shit so for those that are worried about if you're gonna have time to pee or poop or whatever there's a lot of time. Like, when you first get there, um, you're nervous about it. You don't know if you can get up and go. But as as there are a lot of opportunities to use the bathroom. And because there are so many people there, they allot you the opportunity to go to the head or the bathroom a lot. And any opportunity you get, go, even if you don't have to go. I would, I would what I call, take a preventative P. So even if I didn't really have to go, if they afforded you the opportunity to use the head, you go up and you fucking go because you don't know when the next time is going to be and then you pee if you can or whatever and you just wait till the next time. But they make you stay so hydrated. They say to drink. Listen to this. This is the canteen I got in boot camp. This is a liter. They say to drink 10 to 12 of these a day. That's four gallons. That's way too much fucking water. But you get IT'd and you get, you have PT, and, like, you need to stay hydrated, but a couple of people, including myself, got water poisoning, because that's dangerous shit. You can flush all the electrolytes, electrolytes out of your body, and you can get water poisoning, so that can happen. That's real shit, but they, they make you hydrate so much, so they know you have to use the head, so they afford you plenty of opportunities to go potty. So then, Lonnie Bear... 11? Lonely Bear? I don't know. Um, asked about, she, 
she or he, I don't know, asked if a lot of people whimpered or got lightheaded or dizzy during shots. Yes, people were freaking out, which I thought was ridiculous, but to each his own, like if you freak out during whatever. If you're dizzy or lightheaded, they have people standing next to you, they tell you to sit down, they're very aware that people have a horrible time with shots and they get treated with a little bit of special care off to the side. Of course, they're like, sit the fuck down if you're dizzy. Like, they're not nice about it, but they're not going to let you fall on your ass. But yeah, there were people there that were being pussies about the fucking shots, and it drove me crazy. So, then Ralphie, I think, asked if we got paid while we were in boot camp. Yes, you get paid while you're in boot camp. You can route your payments to a bank account you already have, or you can sign up for Navy Federal. I have a bank account already at home, but I also signed up for ba Navy Federal, so I have two bank accounts, and um, that's 